Hello, beautiful Geminis. How are you today? This is your Life Path and Abundance reading followed immediately by a love reading. We have for this month of October that your heart is very full, that you're in a place of peace, of happiness, of joy. You feel great and you feel full and your cup runneth over with love. There is something that's going to happen this month that you don't see coming. The winged wise ones are going to offer you angelic help and miraculous aid. So we're going to have to see as we do the reading what that actually means. You are going to avoid groupthink. You're going to think for yourself. You're going to be very focused and very logical this month. And you're going to not fall into the trap of thinking what others think. There is something that is very, very much remind you of the past this month. You have the remembrance. You're going to remember the lessons that you've learned a long time ago that you've not had to really use or utilize. There's going to be an event or something that happens that brings a lot of beautiful memories back to you at a time when you felt very powerful in your life and you were able to, with this beautiful remembrance, honor your past and move ahead into your future. So it's very interesting that we have that during this reading. Now, Gemini, when I look at where you're at in your life, you're courageous, you're powerful, you're making money, you are of high value in your life. It looks as though you're very focused on work, uh, very focused on building stability, but you are soon to be called on to make a decision about a relationship. We get the energy here that you are very much a popular person and seen as a very high level um, addition to the community. People view you as an asset to the community. People love to be around you. You're very popular. You're perceived also as being very um, prosperous, you know, having some fame and fortune as a person that could be counted on in any situation to, you know, to really lend a hand and to be an upright citizen. When we look at your home life right now, you are about to birth, literally birth a new home. <laughs> you have the four of wands here. So you may have to make a decision about selling a home, buying a home, but this energy is the ace of wands is what impregnates the empress. The empress is the gives birth to everything that we value. The empress plants seeds and harvests them. And what we see right now is that you're going to be called upon to do that. We see that, you know, in terms of your love life or your romantic life or your creative life, you may pack something in. It looks like it could be a creative project that you really like that's been sort of a, you know, a pet project, but you don't seem to be getting a lot from it right now. We see that in your day-to-day, -day, Tuesday, you know, excuse me, Monday through Sunday life, you're very, very skilled. Many of you are very uh, intellectually gifted in some area of life, and you have great clarity. You're going to bring all of your talents to play right now. And I feel like it's going, you're going to go for the money. You're going to give up distractions. You're going to give up hobbies. You are in a very fertile period of your life in which you want to create new stability. You want new opportunities. I also see you in the limelight in the near, in the near future. October should be a tremendous time for that. Now, when we look at your relationship with a significant other, the cards that I pulled out to clarify are very much the cards that would indicate that there's something that's not being told to you by family members, something that may cost you money, something that may make you feel unstable. It looks as though one family member may be in crisis and you have that has not been revealed to you yet. It looks as though family members are going to come to you and seek advice from you. Um, it's not a time of you getting a lot of support from a partner. I don't see that in the works. I do see you as having a very loving family who adores you, 
who, um, you know, sometimes it's not really there, they're not around. I would say, especially if they're older and they have, they have their own families, that that's the reason. The Tower card does indicate that there has been some sort of argument or drama with one family member. And you feel as though, you feel very brokenhearted about this Gemini. Three of Swords. So it does look like there is some, maybe some gossip or some dishonesty or something going on within the dynamic of your, your family, your extended family. You might not, you might be in a falling out period with, you know, anyone who who's immediate family, that's what it looks like. So your relationship, it looks as though you're not, we're not discussing a marriage partner. Um, it does look as though you are not focused on that area of your life. Whatever your relationship life is, it looks as though there's some turmoil there at this time. When we look at your support system, your monetarily your monetary support system. We see that you're very, very good at attracting money. You're very good at attracting clients. You're learning a new skill, Gemini, and it's going to pay very big dividends for you. You are coming in as being very passionate, very fiery, and very talented. So I like this businesswoman and learning some brand new skill that's going to pay off for you very handsomely. I do feel as though the Eight of Wands, in terms of your local neighborhood, you know, you're basically the people that you might have gone to college with, the people from childhood, people who are very good friends, you're going to have a lot of friendship activity this month. It looks like a fun month. It looks as though there's a lot, there's some drinking, there's some partying. There is a very vivacious, lively, funny, jovial, passionate remembrance of good times that you had together. And you will be sharing those memories very, um, very much with a group of people. It looks like anywhere from three to eight people. When we look at your, your home life versus your career life, we're seeing that your home life feels very stable, very happy, you know, very much like you want to develop something that is going to pay off as a long-term investment, and I think it's buying another property. In your career house, though, we're seeing that you are juggling right now. You have a very strong desire to walk away from something, and I think that's this hobby energy that does not appear that a gamble of some sort that you made has paid off, and right now you are at a crossroad. You're juggling two things right now, but I don't see you doing that for a long period of time. When we look at the energy that speaks to your friendships, your, you know, all of your hopes and dreams for love coming true, everything that you want in the way of your greater good, your longer life, we see you with new love coming in. Somebody comes in who is very, very vivacious, very happy, very fun, uh, a person who is very lively and very creative and they're very very sensuous sensual but we see you with a new love interest as the month of october closes out and that makes so much sense libra is your fifth house of romance so when we look at what's going on in terms of your long-term mental health well-being i feel as though you've really decided to leave sadness behind period for many of you, especially if you're over 40, you have come to this sort of worldly understanding that you can't keep all the people happy all the time. That includes you. You can keep some of the people happy all the time, all the people happy some of the time, but not all the people all the time. And so what we see here is you're just willing to walk away from depression, from sadness. You know, you're going to enjoy whatever a time you have to relax in the month of October, you are getting ready to go to a whole nother level of life. Like I said in an earlier Gemini reading, I think that earlier this month, a portal is opening for you. And you know, whenever a portal opens, it's always like there's something messy that goes on in your life to sort of distract you from going to the next stage, right? It's always something, as Gilda Radner said, you know, in her diagnosis of, of not being healthy. So it's, it's a very good comedic kind of sense of relief that we can really let go 
of those things that really used to burden us, the things that used to trouble us, walking away from trouble, taking a nap, using the wisdom of the years with this remembrance card that at the end of the day, you did your best. If it isn't good enough for someone, then they're just going to have to be on their own to deal with it. So that's what I have for your overall reading of Life Path and Abundance. Lots of big changes, a lot of positivity here. You're going to invest or go in a brand new direction in terms of how you earn money, Gemini. It will be sort of a new career for you, except it won't be new. You will have some basic knowledge here, as we already know. So that's it. I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to go right away into the love reading. Okay. Gemini, for your love reading, let's take a look. Your overall energy is the emperor taking charge, large and in charge. Gemini, you seem to be very capable of handling whatever is going on. There seems to be a great deal going on in your love life. So in the recent past, we've had some low-grade sort of arguing. I would say that it is with somebody who's younger than with you, than you. I would also say that it's somebody with whom you do not have a, a committed relationship. It looks as though this is more of a passing fancy, sort of having fun, taking fun as it comes along. Now, the mutual energy between you and your person goes from being this very lighthearted energy uh, where there's sort of some ego-driven conflict, but you both have a crush on each other, to a very much deeper level of love because the King of Cups is intensely loving. The mutual energy that you and your person are bringing to the love life right now is loving each other very deeply. Both of you have had very challenging lives. You have mastered your emotions you have mastered your lives very beautifully you oftentimes both of you make head over heart decisions decisions that make sense so when we look at how your person views you they view you as a time as a person with whom they felt very successful there's something about the conflict that you've had recently that has made this person really doubt themselves and really doubt the connection. They feel as though the tower has fallen, that the structure, everything that made the relationship strong at one time has collapsed. Your person would like to be more out and about with you. They would like to take you out to dinner, show you off to their friends, but and they may try to do that as a surprise. I do think you have surprising news coming in. They see you as a person who's heartbroken. They see you as a person who suspects them of not really being very honest. They also see you as a person who deems themselves to be in a third party situation. <clears throat> and you probably are with all this drama, okay? Take it as it resonates. But in their heart space, they feel very shocked because they really love you. They value you. They feel as though you are sneaking off by yourself, leaving them in the cold with a third party situation, and that you're just, you're going to close the door and leave it closed. So your person is very, um, they're very intimidated right now. They really do feel as though the world is collapsing around you and them and the relationship. How they view the situation with you going forward is they want to have a reunion with you. They want to show you that they love you. This is Scorpio energy twice. Shh, 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 shh. Rose, it's okay. It's Rosie, shh, no barking. No barking. No barking, okay? So we see, in, we see Leo energy twice. We see Scorpio energy twice. We have Mars energy, we have Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy is very strong in this reading. The Four of Wands is Aries, we see Aries, we see Leo, we see Cancerian energy, Virgo and Gemini energy, and Virgo energy. 
So the way we're looking at this relationship right now is that your person very much wants to show you the courage and the strength and the fact that they're not going anywhere, Gemini. Your person wants to give you flowers. They want to be on bended knee. They really want to show you a great deal of respect and affection. The hidden energy is that your person is going to make an offer, something, a romantic offer that will have some sort of impact on your home life. It could be a marriage offer. This could be a proposal coming in. It's possible, but it isn't necessarily the case. The Knight of Cups is clarifying the Four of Wands. Your person wants to maintain uh, the emotional stability with you that you've had in the past. When we look at the energy of what Spirit is recommending, Spirit says, release that which is unhealthy. Release shock, release lies, release... <laughs> you know, tower moments, release all of that and manifest what you want from this relationship. Right now we see as the as this period of time of October closing out, both of you are working a lot. You're not seeing each other. I don't think you've seen each other in a while. You're both very bored, um, but you're both moving forward. So I would just say that you're in an odd, funky you know, energy for many of you in terms of love, long term looks very, very good because we have the Knight of Pentacles. You're releasing that which doesn't serve you and you do have a very stable foundation with somebody who has a great deal of love and respect for you. So I would say right now that the energies all about both of you in your lives are creating a lot of turmoil. It looks like you're much more disengaged from your person than they are from you. And they are really, truly struggling. So Gemini, thanks. Sending you love. Send some back. Tell me where you're from.